Hi, my name is Elle McCann and I am the owner and designer of Curious Themes Web Design Studio in Nashville, Tennessee. We are Shopify experts and are committed to helping you grow your Shopify store with weekly videos on YouTube. So if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for the support. If not, make sure to hit that subscribe button below and hit the bell button to be notified whenever we post new videos. So I wanted to introduce a new feature on our YouTube channel that is specifically for showing you a real existing Shopify site and going through and reviewing it and giving tips and feedback of how you can increase your conversion rate and your sales on your site. This is kind of one of the biggest things that I hear from Shopify store owners of they're not exactly sure what's working, what's not working, and they would love kind of a site audit and some tips and reviews. So I'm going to start going through doing one a week. So in this first video, we are going to be going through a site called Dogs Inspire, which is a t-shirt apparel company focused mainly on dogs and everything kind of dog love. So we're gonna start going through that in a minute, but if you would like for your Shopify store to be reviewed, please post a link in the comments below to your store and we'll randomly choose one person every week to go through and go through their site. So make sure to post that link in the comments below to be entered to have your store reviewed next. So now we're gonna jump into the homepage of the Dogs Inspire site. And one of the things that I really, really like on their site is how they have different sections on the homepage. So you can see here they have a big slideshow image where they have a styled photo of their products and people actually wearing it, which is great because that lets you connect as a customer with the people in the photo. Being able to show faces is wonderful and letting people connect and kind of almost seeing themselves there as well. I also like as you scroll down the page how they have different sections here in terms of how they're breaking it out for t-shirts for men, ladies apparel, as well as mugs. So it's nice and it's very segmented so you can quickly find the area of the products that you're interested in. Now one feedback that I would have for them is that they need to kind of focus on keeping all of their product images the same. You can see here as I'm on the homepage, there's some product images that are a t-shirt on a white background and it's just the t-shirt and others are styled images of people actually wearing the shirt. And they're kind of different sizes. So just to help with the flow of your site overall, I recommend picking a style. So maybe having the t-shirt on the white background as your first photo, but once they go into the product page, there's that secondary photo that's the more stylized photo there of someone actually wearing the t-shirt or using the product. I think this really keeps everything consistent on their site and lets people easily be able to find the products because they're all kind of then stylize the same way so they can really focus more on the design. Now one of the biggest things that I recommend for them and for any of you guys that are watching in terms of your own Shopify site is to make sure in that main navigation to have a shop menu. So you can see here in their main navigation, they don't have any shop menus or any kind of links to collections in the top area. You have to keep in mind that not everyone's gonna hit your homepage and actually be able to shop from there. Currently on their homepage, that's the only way that they're able to shop certain products. So I recommend having a shop little icon or a menu in the top navigation and then having a drop down where you're actually featuring the different collections that you have set up. So having a collection for, for their example of men's t-shirts and ladies t-shirts as well as mugs. Having that as a drop down because someone may come to your homepage automatically or they may go instantly to a product page or an about page or a blog page. So you wanna make sure that no matter how they come into your site, they can always shop your products and collections, especially if the page they came into doesn't really feature exactly what they're looking for. So as we go into one of the collections on the homepage now, just clicking into one of these, so it goes directly into the collections.all, which is a default Shopify collection. So that tells me that there's not actually any collections segmented out. And so this means that the customer is then having to scroll through all of the products in the site to find the ones that they're kind of looking for. So this goes back to, again, having separated collections out. So both in your navigation and just on your site overall so that you're grouping similar products together. That way, if someone, for example, is looking for a mug, 
they're not instantly having to scroll through all of these t-shirts as well and looking through that they can find the mug that they're looking for and then focus more on the design that they connect with the most you can also see here on the page they're missing a header image so this is a default shopify kind of placeholder image so they need to go in and make sure that they have all of the different areas filled out on their site this is a big thing that i recommend before you launch your site just kind of going through your site going through every page making sure that all of your links work making sure that all of your images are correctly linked and showing up on your site that are the best size i recommend going through all of that and making sure before you push launch that you have everything working and that there's no broken links or missing images you can also see as we go into one of their product pages now that they also have some different options for colors for their shirts for this example so they have a lot of different colors and if you hover over these little color samples you can see the different image change on the left hand side to match that color now the one tip I would give is to make sure that you do have all of those thumbnails generated. So Shopify will automatically come up with those thumbnails if your theme uses that, if they are named more generic colors. So for example, this one is named Ash. So instead of Ash to get that color to show up, you would want to use the name Gray for that variant. So you can go in and add your own images. However, you do have to go in and edit the theme to upload those images yourself. So I recommend sticking with more of the generic Shopify names for variants and colors. That way you don't have to go in and change that yourself. I also really love on their product page how instead of just an add to cart button, it says buy it now. To me, this is so much more actionable and it gets people to go ahead and quickly add that to their cart. So I love any way that you can make something buy it now or like how they have included at the top of their site, free shipping, um, any kind of returns policy that you would want to have or, or FAQs, anything that kind of sets those trust symbols as well as gets them to quickly answer any questions that they have and add that product to their cart is great to include on a product page. Another thing that I really love including on product pages is reviews. So you can see here that they have a reviews area. However, there's not any reviews on it currently. So this can be kind of tough when you're just starting out and you don't have any reviews yet. However, as you start adding in reviews and reaching out to customers who have recently purchased, reviews are a great way to also establish that trust so that potential customers know that they're actually gonna get their product and it's not a scam. So it's also great to add in things like an Instagram feed of showing customers who've already purchased your product actually wearing that piece of clothing or jewelry or whatever it is kind of using your product in everyday life again it lets you as a potential customer really relate to that product and those customers who have already purchased so it's not only setting up the trust symbols but it's also letting people connect instantly to your existing customers and see themselves in their shoes in terms of their article pages on their site i think the about us page is a big area where they can add in a lot more content. So your About Us page is actually visited a lot more than people think on their site. So I would go in and add more highlighted information, maybe a photo of the team, a little bit of the founder story, as well as adding in you know, the founder's favorite products. Having those items on the About page makes it a lot more actionable in terms of people coming into the About page, reading your story, connecting with your brand, and then going through and shopping your favorite products. So think about putting a link to a bestsellers collection there, or just having a lot more information where they can feel connected to you and your brand story. If you have any kind of social mission of where you're giving a percentage of your sales back, this is a great area to highlight it on your About Us page as well. Another big content area that they have on their site is their blog. So I wanted to just touch base on this as well. So they have one blog post up, but they also have still a lot of missing content. So they don't have a header image as well as on the side, they're not exactly linked correctly to their Twitter account. So you can see here that it's the Shopify Twitter account, which is the default of some themes. So make sure whenever you go to launch that you have everything connected up to your appropriate social media channels, you have all those images, and that you've tested the links to make sure everything is working correctly. 
The last thing you want to do is frustrate customers because they're not able to properly navigate your site or it doesn't feel complete or finished. So make sure that you go through your site before launching and make sure that all of those areas are filled out correctly and everything's working exactly how you think it should. My last tip for you guys and for them is to go in and customize the checkout page. So all of the Shopify themes have this functionality now, but you'll actually find it under your theme settings. So that's under online store themes and then customize theme. You'll see an area that's called checkout. So this is where you can upload your logo as well as change some of the button colors to match your branding. So you can see here that they don't have this set up yet. It's just text for their checkout page. However, it's a, a missed opportunity of adding in some additional branding to that checkout page. So it's really just stylized and cohesive overall. You want to make sure that you're making it a very cohesive experience. So add your logo into your checkout page as well as add it into the notifications area for any emails that they're receiving from you for their order. So like their order confirmation, their shipping confirmation, all of those you really want to customize not only with your logo, but your own brand wording and colors as well. So these are great opportunities to really make everything cohesive for your customers and make it a great buying experience. So I hope you really enjoyed this Shopify site audit. And again, if you would like to be featured and have your site featured next of tips and tricks of how you can increase your conversion rate and better your overall shopping experience, make sure to comment in the links below this video with a link to your Shopify store to be entered into the random drawing for next week's Shopify store audit. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe for all the tips and information you need about Shopify and how to grow your online business.